What's poppin' everybody? It's SaberWolf94. So, if you're at least an average of a Pokemon TCG fan, I'm sure you must have heard of Jason Klasinski. Uh, if you haven't, he's the guy that uh, won Worlds three times. He has won uh, the U.S. Nationals in 2015, too, quite recently. And he won numerous big events. Uh, he topped numerous events, of course. Uh, regionals, everything. Uh, he's regarded by many as the best player, and... If not the best player, many people, all people are going to agree, he's one of the best players for sure. Uh, to me, he's the, definitely the best player. I regard him as the best player. And usually, uh, it's kind of tough for me to make a decision like that, even with all the credentials and stuff. I'm always kind of, well, you never know. Uh, there might be some players better than him or something. But uh, this guy is just, he has my sort of uh, vote as the best player. Uh, not even like... The credentials speak for themselves, but just listening to him talk and watching some of his games, watching some of the plays he did, and man, it's just, he really is the best player for me. I mean, even other top players like Kyle Sukovic, uh, Puka from the Top Cut, which is also one of the best players, uh, might even be more infamous than Jason Klasinski because of the YouTube channel and, you know, running the Top Cut in general. But like, even that guy just explained uh, how much how impressed he was uh, at certain times with Jason Klasinski with some of his plays like not attacking when obviously you should attack and that kind of stuff making like sort of weird moves but they're actually super pro moves that that guy is like for thinking for thought like 10 turns ago maybe in the game and what have you and just in general just listening to that guy talk and describe and analyze and improvise and about the Pokemon TCG in, you know, interviews that I've seen on YouTube and what have you. He really is just on a league of his own. I'm one of the people that really, you know, don't believe in taking autographs from players and stuff like that. But, you know, Jason Klasinski, uh, he's definitely one of the people that if I ever saw him, I would be like, yeah, can I please have your autograph? He definitely is like the Michael Jackson of the Pokemon TCG for me. He is the top player. But... Besides all of this, all of his credentials and all the other amazing stuff that I described, part of the thing that makes him so cool, in my opinion, is the knowledge and research he has contributed to the Pokemon TCG. So I'm pretty sure you guys won't be surprised to hear that this guy writes articles and stuff like that. But uh, the coolest thing from what he's done uh, for me when it comes to writing and what have you is his uh, WordPress blog about the Pokemon TCG eras, all the way from base set. Uh, he explores, you know, the eras uh, thoroughly, uh, play testing and researching uh, with each set, and you know the sets that come after. Like you got the base set format, where it's just uh, the base set cards. You have to work with the base set cards, and then there's base set jungle and base set jungle fossil, and then you know the Neo Genesis stuff and everything. An amazing depth and detail. Uh, this guy just play tests and researches and does all this stuff to give us just a comprehensive picture of the Pokemon TCG, how it was, and all this stuff. And what I'm excited about is I checked his blog, which I do, and I found out that he's going to start uh, this February 2018. He's going to continue uh, those articles from the EX era, which of course is my favorite and the one I'm most curious about because I don't know everything and I'm really excited to see all this stuff that he's going to write and all of the shit that I'm going to learn reading that. So maybe a lot of you guys know, but I'm pretty sure many of you don't know about this. So I urge you, now that you guys know, uh, you should really just read all that stuff out and check it out. You're going to learn a lot. I, I mean, part of the reason why it's so cool for me and I checked his blog so much and read all that stuff is because it really helps you help me uh, making videos like when I did the top 10 best Pokemon sets of all time like I really learned a lot and was able to make some good decisions when I read that I mean if I didn't know all the information that I got from those articles maybe you know my top 10 would have ended up differently but I feel like because I, I read all that stuff about the Neo formats and what have you I got an idea of the importance of a lot of the shit he's talking about and of course that influenced my decisions but it really is just 
amazing knowledge from the best player. Uh, he's experienced like almost all of the formats and uh, like the older formats, you best believe like he experienced them 100%. I think he took a break in like the DP era during after after like the Guardi Gallade uh, sort of uh, when it was top dog, he was a uh, like a gambler or something, I don't know, but he, he was uh, he wasn't in the Pokemon TCG so much, but he definitely is uh, the best player. <laughs> if I see him, like I've said, uh, I would be very honored to get an autograph. Excellent thinker, excellent player, the best, the Michael Jackson of Pokemon TCG kind of thing. Hope you guys just check these articles out. They they should be pretty good. I'm really excited. Uh, the EX series is the kind of era that I missed. Uh, the same goes for the all of the older stuff from the base set and what have you. Uh, yeah, we were around, but uh, I was young, and you didn't really, I didn't really experience that properly. Uh, you know some cards are good, you know some other stuff, but you don't really know everything. I mean, I can find out about some top decks and stuff here and there, and I have a general idea, but uh, this guy's going to give us the, the depth, uh, all of the the comprehensive stuff. He's going to research, he's going to play test, and I think it's pretty amazing because uh, as as a big of a Pokemon fan that I am, a Pokemon TCG fan, I don't see myself ever, ever going to such, such depths, uh, researching, play testing, just doing all of this super comprehensive uh, field work to find out how, how exactly the Pokemon TCG was back then, and the best decks, and the best way to play, and what have you. So, at the same time, though, for this guy to be doing it, uh, you know, he has my respect. Uh, he has sort of uh, my support. Even though I couldn't do it, I don't see myself doing something like that. I applaud another person for doing that and being so so into it, so motivated, and so passionate about the Pokemon TCG. He really has, like, contributed so much for the TCG uh, already. And I really just hope we see him on the top again playing and winning and what have you yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this little video hope you guys subscribe leave a like share this with your friends uh, like i've said i suggest you guys go visit the blog or learn about all of the the base set format and the neo formats uh, the second gen formats basically and all the stuff learn about you know sneasel and all the cards that well it's not it was just him and uh uh, Slokin that eventually got banned from the modified format, but learn all those little details. A lot of the stuff it's kind of misinformed about, you know, for Alligator and uh, you know that era. And if you if you read those articles, you'll just know everything from this guy. So yeah, several four. What's up?